We're about 100 games into the 2022 season, so let's see who can claim they are the MVP of their team. The Angels, Shohei Otani. Anyone who can pitch and hit, even at an average level, is valuable. But Otani has 22 homers and an 847 OPS. Not as good as Trout, but better than everyone else on the team. But this year, his pitching is next level. 281 ERA, 145 strikeouts. That's 7th in all of baseball. He's their best active hitter and their ace of the staff. Honestly, this is Little League stuff. The Astros, Jordan Alvarez. With all due respect to Justin Verlander, the current ERA leader in the major leagues, Alvarez deserves this one. He leads baseball with a 1080 OPS. Same with his 415 on base, 30 homers, hitting over 300. What a monster year. The A's, Cole Irvin. Maybe not a superstar like Otani or Alvarez, but Irvin has come out of nowhere and he's been really good. Everyone is going crazy over Frankie Montas, but Irvin has been better. 18 starts, 305 ERA, leads a team with 109 and one third innings. Really solid stuff. The Blue Jays, Alec Manoa. Alejandro Kirk has been awesome. Vlad Jr. is still good, even though he's been down this year. But Alec Manoa has built on last year and he's been the ace. In 20 starts, he's seventh in innings pitch at 126, and he's got a 243 ERA. The Braves, Austin Riley. Max Fried also deserves this. Fourth in baseball in innings pitched at 132 and a third, and he's posting a 258 ERA. But Austin Riley has broke out big time. 964 OPS, 29 homers, hitting over 300. What a year. The Brewers, Corbin Burns. You could make an argument for Hunter Renfro. This team needed offense, and he's got 19 homers and an 828 OPS. But Corbin Burns, once again, has been so good all year. 231 ERA over 20 starts, and 160 strikeouts is third in all of baseball. The Cardinals, Paul Goldschmidt. Miles Michaelis has been an absolute workhorse. Nolan Arenado actually has a higher war, but Paul Goldschmidt isn't only the MVP of the Cardinals. He may be the MVP of the league. 1011 OPS, 409 on base, 329 average, 24 homers. Maybe this is the year Goldschmidt finally gets his MVP. The Cubs, Wilson Contreras. Nico Horner, Ian Happ, Patrick Wisdom. They're all having good years, but Contreras has to be the guy here. His 818 OPS leads the team. Plus, he's a catcher and a good one at that. That makes him even more valuable. The Diamondbacks, Merrill Kelly. I gave Cattell Marte a look. Christian Walker has been mashing homers, but Merrill Kelly has been the workhorse of the staff. 125 and a third innings, 287 ERA over 21 starts. He's been awesome. The Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. This team leads the National League in ERA and run scored. They have four starters with an ERA under three, and the other guy is Walker Buehler. They also have Mookie Betts and Trey Turner, but Freddie Freeman has been so insanely good, I'm giving it to him. 945 OPS, 404 on base, 328 average. Only 15 homers, but he's got 36 doubles and 131 hits. Both are tops in the league. The Giants, Carlos Rodon. On the position player side, Austin Slater and Jock Peterson have been good. Logan Webb has been eating innings, third most in the majors, and he's still got a 3.2 ERA, but Rodon is right there behind him. 123 innings, 21 starts, a flat 3 ERA, 158 strikeouts, good for fourth in the majors. The Guardians, Jose Ramirez. The only other contender was Emmanuel Classe, and he's been great, but Ramirez is a superstar and he's playing like it. 923 OPS, 21 homers, 84 RBI, even 14 steals. The Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. It was a very tough call between him and Ty France. France has a better average and OPS and half the strikeouts, but Julio has more homers and 21 stolen bases. This gave him the edge for me. The Marlins, Sandy Alcantara. I gave a look at Chaz Chisholm and he was strong, but Alcantara is arguably the best pitcher in baseball. No pitcher has a higher war. Nobody has more innings. He leads the National League in ERA, just trailing Justin Verlander overall. He's top 10 in strikeouts, a whip under one. He's the star of this team. The Mets, Pete Alonso. There have been a lot of solid years for the Mets, but nothing jumps out aside from Alonso. He has a 905 OPS and 27 homers, along with a league best 86 RBI, trailing only Aaron Judge. He's paid to produce, and he's doing exactly that. The Nationals, Juan Soto. Well, it was between him and Josh Bell, and now they're both in San Diego. It's too bad, these were the only guys having a good year. Soto has an 894 OPS, 21 homers and 46 RBI, 91 walks to 62 strikeouts. Maybe now that he's in San Diego, he's going to see more pitches to hit. The Orioles, Anthony Santander. The Orioles have been a big surprise, and they have a bunch of guys having solid years. Cedric Mullins has a higher war thanks to his speed. 
Jorge Lopez has been an awesome closer and he's on the Twins now. So we got Santander with a 795 OPS, 19 homers, 57 RBI, one of the weaker MVPs on this list. The Padres, Manny Machado. For a good team, this is the only starter with an OPS over 800 and he stands at 875. 18 homers, 57 RBI. He's only going to benefit from Soto and Tatis hitting around him. Plus, he's just insane in the field. The Phillies, Kyle Schwarber. This one may be controversial. Bryce Harper is crushing it before he got hurt with a 985 OPS. You also have Aaron Nola, who's second in baseball in innings pitched. Zach Wheeler with an ERA under three. But Kyle Schwarber brings the thunder. His 204 average and 306 on base is pretty bad, but he produces. He leads the National League with 33 homers. Also a 66 RBI and an OPS of 807. The Pirates, keep Brian Hayes. My gut reaction was Brian Reynolds. He's got 15 homers and a 779 OPS. Hayes only has a 673 OPS, but his war is double that of Reynolds. This is mainly due to a 1.9 defensive war. And when you factor that in, I gotta give the edge to Hayes. The Rangers, Martin Perez. I know that Corey Seager has come on really strong lately, but Perez has been great all year. He had two starts that weren't so great. One in Chicago, the other at home against the Twins. But he still has a 2.52 ERA. His 125 innings are 10th in baseball. Plus, he's got a 9-2 record on a losing team. The Rays, Shane McClanahan. Even if they had one offensive standout, I'd still give the MVP to Shane McClanahan. He's on the shortlist for AL Cy Young with his 2.07 ERA over 20 starts. 122 innings, 828 whip, 158 strikeouts, which is fourth in baseball. He's an absolute stud. The Red Sox, Rafael Devers. It's a tough year to win MVP in the American League, but Devers will be in the mix. 981 OPS, 22 homers, 55 RBI, 324 average. He's just a great hitter. The Reds, Brandon Drury. Not a lot of bright spots for the Reds this year, but an 855 OPS, 20 homers, and 59 RBI are pretty good for any team. The Rockies, CJ Crone. He's been killing it all year. Currently with an 851 OPS, 22 homers, 71 RBI. Other teams know by now to avoid this guy at all costs. The Royals, Andrew Benintendi. Well, here's another guy who's gone, but he was having a really nice year with the Royals. 320 average, 785 OPS, only three homers, but 111 hits. His season just got new life with the Yankees. The Tigers, Gregory Soto. The only other guy was Tarek Skubal. He's been an innings eater, but Soto has been a legit strong closer for a team that's not winning much. 225 ERA, 19 saves, 16 walks to 38 strikeouts. The Twins, Luis Arise. This was a razor close battle with Byron Buxton, but Arise is hitting 111 points higher than Buxton, even if Buxton has 20 more homers and a higher OPS. They're both having great seasons, just doing different things, and I'm giving this one to Arise for being one of the best hitters in the league. The White Sox, Dylan Cease. With all the firepower the White Sox have, and all the great arms they have lined up, I'm not sure anyone had Dylan Cease as their MVP, but he's been amazing. 21 starts, 116 and two-thirds innings, a 201 ERA. That's number three in baseball. He's also got 161 strikeouts. That's number two in the majors, just behind Garrett Cole. The Yankees, Aaron Judge. Some say this is the most dominant offensive season since maybe Barry Bonds in 2004. 1063 OPS, 43 homers, 93 RBI. If he stays healthy, he can chase Roger Maris. And if he gets really hot, maybe even Barry Bonds. He rejected the Yankees extension before the season, and he's doing everything possible to maximize his value. That's all for this video. Let me know what you think of these picks, and if you would have gone with anyone else and why. Before you go, don't forget to drop this video a like. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here and love baseball, please consider giving me a sub. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.